Albania was one of the first countries in the world to open its doors to Afghans fleeing the Taliban regime. Today, over 1,600 people are living in hotels at the coastal resort of Shenzhen. Here, they await news of visas for the US, Canada and Europe. Some have a date of departure, while others don't know if they'll be here for weeks or for years. Exit News visited Shenzhen to meet with some of the refugees who now call it home. 24-year-old Lena, a scholar with dreams of a PhD in the US, explained how thankful she's been for Albanian hospitality. Can you tell me what's your life been like here for the last three months? Yeah, everything is good here. Like we have good uh, facilities, fooding, uh, and also we receive lots of clothing here. Uh, and also there is like there are lots of organizations who has working here to provide more good facilities for us. Mm -hmm. So we feel better. As they wait for visas with no end date in sight, residents have formed social and hobby groups. One example is a knitting and sewing group that Najiba is part of. You've started knitting and making lots of items as a way to keep yourself busy and yes. to keep your mind off the situation. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Um, yes, this is what I'm doing to keep myself busy um, and to do not think about those situation that we experienced. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, it's not only me. Uh, there are many things to think about, like those who, who have been left behind. I'm thinking yes. about them so much because me and my children were lucky that we could manage to get out of the country. But there are thousands of women and children that these days are struggling with, with hunger. They don't have anything to eat. There's no money, there's no job, there's nothing, no future. So I think about them a lot and that's the only thing that keeps me busy and uh, I try to to do something, not to think so to much. Occupy yet. your mind. Mm -hmm. I prepared this for this is mm -hmm. this was a gift for a friend, but this is for my for my for my daughter. How long uh, does it take you to make? This one take me two days. Mm -hmm. It is uh, the design I made. I prepared this for a friend mm -hmm. as a gift, and this take me one week. Lovely. Uh, yeah, this also take me two to three days. Yes. And uh, I did uh, also some other uh, work, mm -hmm. which I already distributed to the other ladies. Because uh, we are a community here, and we are a group of 25 people. And uh, it's not only our group. Outside from the group, the ladies also came and request us for something to prepare for them. Yes. It is knitting or sewing, doesn't matter. I know both, so then we uh, try to uh, make them happy as well. Yes, lovely. because uh, it, it is uh, not only the material, it is not only the, the scale, it is a social connection as well. Khadija is also involved with the sewing group. My name is Khadija Rose Olfat. And you've been in Albania for how long? <laughs> for two months. Two months? And um, what do you think of Albania so far? Albania is the best. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Really greatest locations and uh, have a kindly people. Yes. yes, I'm so happy here. You're happy here. Yes. Would you like to stay? Uh, yes, it's possible, but right now we will go to in Canada. In Afghanistan, as you know, uh, the situation is very bad, and to we make a team. Team, our team is between 26 women. Uh, so effect on my mind we don't thinking about the Afghanistan about the earth race and also no, not thinking about the force there is here as we are uh, realize when we making the team mm -hmm. for the Afghan women of Shenzhen sewing and knitting offers peace of mind for now but it won't last forever now people are uh, like feeling better but they still they are worried about their uh, last destination, like they have yes. to go to their uh, last destination or where they hope to go. While these people are thankful for the hospitality and kindness they've received, they feel their lives are on pause while they wait for visas. With no end in sight, for now the community they've created here will have to keep them going.